How's it going, everybody? Mike T here, back to the reaction video, and we're here to watch a video from the Generosity. Yay, yay. Now, I know I am late into watching this. I kind of forgot about this video because I plan on watching it, but I was doing some other things and some other stuff happened. And we're here now to watch The Annoying Characters 3, which has, I don't know that first character, but that is uh, Russo from, what is it, Cobra Kai, which I have not seen in the latest season. Season 5, I haven't watched that yet. And then we have McDonald's Adeku, which is from the meme. Yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna get into this because I'm curious what he gotta say, because Dizirasi is always funny. He's always funny. He's a funny dude. <laughs> also, before we even start this, Russo, what was it, season one, season two? I'm like, Russo, stop being annoying. <laughs> like, uh, what was his name? Crap, crap, it's been so long since I watched it. The guy here on the right, the, uh, the guy who was in Cobra Kai. Uh, Johnny? Something. Like, he's like, he's trying his best to be on good terms with you, Russo. Stop being a douchebag. <laughs> but right, let's get it. I'm gonna help hey. you then, I'm gonna help her now. We don't teach these kids to fight with anger. That's, that's not the meal you don't wait. Hey, yeah, 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 what's yeah, up? that, yeah. How y'all doing? Don't what's act up? like we're sweet. You've been gone for dang near two months. <laughs> My food is already cold. <laughs> all right, all right, chill. It's okay. I'm back now. That's he's all back, that matters. He's back. Yeah, that's all Plus, that matters. I was baked for half the time, so for me, it felt like a week. <laughs> and during this long week, I've been reading. Watching, okay. learning, exploring. I haven't seen that during my journey series. of self-discovery and euphoria. I remembered how much I hate certain <laughs> people. On my TV, we're back with more annoying my characters. TV. I've Let's watched go. a few more shows and movies since my Favorite. last one, and I wanted to pop a blood vessel real quick to rant about them. Before I yapped my Let's mouth ranted for however long. Real quick, these characters don't make or break a show or movie for me. In right. fact, I really like most of the stuff I watch that I'm mentioning here. It's just that the characters I mentioned here, I'd love to see get ran over by a bus. We all on the same <laughs> Wi-Fi? Let's You're start and get connected. Caillou. You. Now remember that. Oh, sorry, I had to align my, my chakra root. I had to align my chi. I did not think we we're gonna start with Caillou. I don't know a single person, a single soul that likes Caillou. I just, I just getting the flashbacks to watching that one Burlesque video when he used to do like the cartoon um, roasting things where Caillou was one of them. Okay, my fault. Okay, I, I have got my my graphic. I have got my piece back. Let's get it. Man, no I'm letting you in the same Wi-Fi. <laughs> Let's start and get connected. Caillou. Now remember that make or break argument I said like mm, 10 seconds ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah he and I don't it. apply for him. This yeah. dude makes the show <laughs> unwatchable. I'm surprised I ain't brought him up in the past because whenever I try to I watch him back in the day, already. it felt like one big commercial for Plan B. Because this dude was a demon. It seemed like every episode this dude was whining and complaining about the most trivial stuff. I didn't make it that it far into like the series. Thing. Which one of y'all said that? When <laughs> I didn't he say anything. Crying, he's making a mess and causing problems. Blaming his sister for stuff he messed up. Refusing Dang. to take baths. Always wanting to start beef with new people he meets. Being bald. This just too much to <laughs> be I swear, bald. I wouldn't be able to handle being this boy's dad, bro. I wouldn't either. Hey, 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 shut your dumb ass up before I beat it. Damn, I can hear you from downstairs. I can't stand it. <laughs> I'm watching the game, and I got $2,000 on Caitlin Clark scoring 15 <laughs> in the second half. You f***ing with my parlay, boy. My you parlay. know, child labor might be illegal here, but I'll send your ass to China make a boost machine in That's a heck of a sec. Crazy you already looked the part. You'll fit right in. If I had to come up here again, I'm bringing Diddy with me. I swear to God, I ain't playing with you. What and the heck? That's crazy. The That's a lot. I remember this one episode where he invited his friend over to play in his room with his toys. But okay. she want to play doctor and he want to play dinosaurs. And when she start using his toys for doctor, he get all mad for no reason. Then he runs to his mom lying, saying she took the toys. No wonder he a skinhead. This <laughs> Blaming that little black girl for something she ain't even do. Bro would have been a D1 police informant if this was the 1940s. And I know Guilty. some people are going to say, oh, he's just a kid. No, you know, no, some kids nope, actually nope. act the way that he does. Well, maybe some kids don't deserve to be adopted. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and you show us the orphanage. That's crazy. No, because he don't look nothing like either of his parents. His daddy not bald, his sister not bald, and I'm 70% sure his mom is not wearing a weave. So that's his excuse. He's not even their kid. Send him back home with Annie. Some might say I'm doing too much over this child. You're not. You're not, you're not doing you're enough. You're probably right. I just hate kids. No, no. Damn. You have, you're not doing enough. You haven't, you haven't done enough against Kyle. Say I'm doing too much over this child. 
and you probably right. I just hate kids. Next, Daniel LaRusso from Cobra Daniel, Kai. Right? Cobra Kai Let's has turned into my junk food show. I need to watch I think season seasons five. one and two are genuinely good, but then for me, season three and onwards, the story and characters felt like they were being written by Disney Channel. It's gotten so ridiculous. I can see it, yeah. But I love it. But one like thing that stayed the same fight, throughout yeah, like the it. entire series is Daniel LaRusso's annoying ass. Bro is constantly trying to one-up Lawrence, the best Lawrence, character. Lawrence, that's his name. That's even right. when the dude is... I agree, Lawrence is the best, even though he had, he had his, his setbacks sometimes. He's still the best to me. Broke, drunk, and a bum who got nothing <laughs> else going bum. on. But as soon as Lawrence opens up Cobra Kai, all because he can't get over his high school bully, being like... I can't have Cobra Kai be a thing. It's not the Miyagi way. And oh now I will say when he first opened it up, I'm like, okay, I can see why he would be like hard pressed. But but he wouldn't even want to hear Daniel out in the beginning. Not Daniel. Uh, Lawrence out in the what's his name? An ass. Bro is constantly trying to one up Lawrence. The best. Lawrence. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he didn't even want to hear out Lawrence in the beginning of like the season. I'm like, at least hear him out first. I understand Cobra Kai what it did to you in the past when you was in Karate Kid, but um. You didn't want to hear him out. You just kept saying, no, I got to shut this down. Oh, you're evil, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Daniel, stop. You're an adult. You're in your 40s or 50s. Stop. <laughs> so annoying. But he gets better, I think. I, I think. I don't know. I, I forgot. Miyagi way. And oh my God, I have never seen a man glaze another man to this capacity in all my days. This man rides Mr. Miyagi hey, like hey, a oh, That's Mr. Miyagi. Damn near <laughs> everything he talk about, whether it be karate, food, or sex. This dude will I mean, find some not, way to ride you're Mr. Not wrong Miyagi's there. dead meat mid-conversation. Bro would do tricks, splits, and backflips <laughs> on it if Mr. Miyagi told him to. I'm surprised he ain't lose all his purpose when he died. Instead, he worships Miyagi more than Jesus. Now, I ain't watch <laughs> the Karate Kid movies, I so I don't know Miyagi one. all that well. But if you were alive today and saw how Daniel be acting and talking about him, he'd probably be like, Daniel son. Oh, you suck a hella dick. <laughs> I really can't stand this so grown stupid. man. He like 60, acting like this in front of his high school karate students who are like in their mid 20s. Just just embarrassing. <laughs> Next, anybody that have main Sombra and Spawn oh, we went, we went to Overwatch. I hate okay. you. You make the game more unplayable than it already Overwatch. is. That's, that's and out of don't my field. Reproduce. Next, Starlight. <laughs> I love the boys, especially this newest season. I thought What's happening there? I haven't. I need to watch the boys. I have not watched a single episode of the boys, so this might be spoiler, but we're gonna watch it. I thought it was slow at first, but at the end, I think it was just as good as season three. Mostly because the end of that season had that boat where Butcher and Homelander teamed up against Soldier Boy. Man, I, I, I'm still mad. Customer sir. But I digress. <laughs> we're talking Starlight. Now, in the earlier seasons, I think she was a pretty good character. And I still heroine? think she is. But as of late, there's been <laughs> moments where I'm just like. Shut up. And I'm not talking about how she looked like Michael I Jackson now. I don't care Dang. about that. I mean, how she got all upset at Huey because he ain't know the shapeshifter wasn't her after he proposed to her and they did a whole bunch of snuggling. I know you were chained up for days, barely getting any food and water, but you do too much. Who cares about that? It's all in the past. It's not <laughs> Huey's fault that she's a better side bitch than you ever were. Dang. And how she always try to act intimidating with them glowing eyes, but nobody's scared of you. Sit down. <laughs> like, what's she Scary gonna movie. do? Flash me? Sounds like a reward. Go ahead. <laughs> and before you start pointing fingers at me, I I'm not being sexist or nothing. I love Kimiko. She bad as hell. Firecracker too. She also nothing. bad. Miss Newman, baddie. And if the deep is fashioned <laughs> sister sage, then I'm throwing my shot at her too. The deep always got the best taste. Plus, I love me a girl that can help me take over the world. <laughs> How can I be sexist when I want to have sex with all these women? You can't call me true, out. And that true. part when she was against Huey when he was trying to get Victoria to join the boys with them, that had me rolling my eyes so far back. Like, okay, Starlight, I get that she's foiled our plans multiple times, and we have really no reason to trust her at all. But can't you see Huey's trying to get some pussy? Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, maybe Huey might not be a good boyfriend. Maybe not, yeah. Nah, it's Starlight. It oh, is okay. Starlight. Well, I yeah, guess my Starlight, Starlight <laughs> examples are kind of nitpicky, and I still like her overall, but sometimes she just make me, <sighs> you know, next, Deku. Now, i never been a huge fan of... All right, so I, I, before, right, I feel like he's going to say something about how Deku used to cry a lot, which, again, I was like that before, like, I think season three. I'm like, stop crying so much. But... Later on, you know, he stopped crying. He only cries like during like major moments or something like that. So I'm like, all right, he's cool with me. I'm cool with Deku. He's he's fine with me. I had no ill will against him. But the first two seasons, I had some ill will. I'm like, man, if you don't stop crying every single time. But I'm like, all right, you're good with me now. You're good with me. 
<sighs> you know, next, Deku. Now, I never and I read the manga, so I know the MHA, ended. but I've always liked the series overall. One thing I Oh, well, okay. well, while we wait for this, MMA, MHA, it's a cool series. Yeah, it's cool. It's fine. But I have some people bring up like, oh, but the fan base. I don't, I don't care what that fan base says. It's not going <laughs> to impact my enjoyment of a show. Now, there are some parts I wish they would have executed better, but for the most part, it's, it's cool with me. Now, I never been a huge fan of MHA, but I've always liked the series overall. One thing I really ain't like about it, though, was Izuku Midoriya. AKA Deku. Always saw him as kind of a crybaby and a doormat. Always bawling his eyes out for every little gesture someone gives is. him. And a doormat, cause yeah. how he became friends with Bakugo so quick. Like this dude has bullied you to the point of you wanting to self check out for years. Yet just because he found out where I got my power from, he want to be in my life now? No, you can kick rocks <laughs> no. and go kiss Kirishima. I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want you around me. I don't care if you know my <laughs> secret. I will 1 million percent Delaware Mississippi <laughs> smash on you if you tell anyone or talk to me. Is what Deku should have done. Instead of crying tears of joy when Bakugo says, Hey, you weren't completely dog during training today. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. But this could have all been fine, you know. I've seen the power of friendship done well yeah, in stories. So maybe yeah. in the end it would have all been worth it. However, the manga recently ended. Oh, well, okay. No, well, he, he knows about the manga stuff then. All right. I don't know if it's going to be spoilers or not. If this is going to be spoil territory, I'm going to put up a spoil caption. I'll, I'll, no, if this is going to be spoil territory, I'm going to let you know when you can watch the video game. But for now, we're going to keep it moving. And honestly, I think Horikoshi is either trolling or hates Deku just as much as Because <laughs> this was weak. The final chapter. All right, I don't skip this. I mean, mute the audio. I'll tell you when to come back. Had everybody in his class end up as successful big star heroes eight years in the yep, future yep. while Deku lost his quirk working at ua as a teacher what is this huh? i thought the story <laughs> was building up to you being known as the greatest hero not my pe teacher why isn't he a hero no more we see him up just be strong and crazy fast with no support of their quirk stain was faster than every hero he came across including lita and he known for speed <laughs> mirio right, is right. strong as hell not because he can face through walls he just be hitting the gym deku could have done this imagine a hero as fast as stain as strong as Mirio with a gun <laughs> with a gun the guy. that's at least a top five strongest hero in the MHA burst don't <laughs> add none of that requires no quirk either so there's no excuse this is not even the nail on the coffin he don't even end up with Ochako he there ain't he no doesn't. sign there's like so many things like towards the end right since we're in the manga stuff I just feel like they, they rushed it so fast like towards the end I'm like yo you're going too fast with this even during the fights I'm like you're going too fast with this hold on now can, can we like take a few more chapters like go into the characters real quick <laughs> nah we're going straight to the end <laughs> one of them being together so you telling me at the end of the entire story Deku is quirkless bitchless and <laughs> on a teacher's salary Maybe Bakugo was right. You should kill your. This ending dang, is so dang. disappointing for Deku. He gone through hell and back for this outcome. All for one, one for all. Man, this was all for nothing. <laughs> and at the final chapter, he's saying, well, I may be quirkless, but at least I made use of it when I had it, and I can encourage people with their own quirks too. So there's something awesome about that. Uh, I, I didn't, nope, I can't, nope. Oh, you, you better than me. I will not say that. And then this is him two panels later. Yeah, he don't even agree with himself. He <laughs> At least give my boy a million dollar severance check every year. He saved the world for Christ's uh -huh. sake. But nah, we got this. W welcome to Ronald. <laughs> what would you be ordering today? Great. Yeah, can I get that four for four meal and a Whopper without a Big Mac? That would be twelve ninety seven. Yeah, no problem. Would you like your receipt? Nah, no thank you. You know, <laughs> I used to be a hero once. Mm hmm. I <laughs> don't give a fuck. I saved the world from total annihilation. Yeah, and I'm LeBron James. Can you give me my damn food? <laughs> I haven't feed my kids in two days. And you only got them a four for four? Next, <laughs> sadness. For uh, you, okay, you, you can come back now. As far as all over for my hero, you can come back now. We're good. We're on um, blue. I don't know what this is. Uh, yeah, just know that my hero, the anime watchers. It's gonna get interesting. It's gonna get interesting. But let's keep it moving now with uh, Blue. From inside out. Bruh, just kill her. Nah, I What's even her name? Next, sadness from inside oh, out. Oh, sadness, okay. Bruh, just kill her. 
I ain't even mm-hmm. gonna sugarcoat it. It'd be better off she was dead. She Bang. was so annoying in the first movie, Inside causing out. all the problems, making Riley damn near bipolar and running away from home. All cause she wanted to feel included. Bitch, nobody wanna be sad. <laughs> that ain't a good feeling. <laughs> Who chooses to be sad in I don't general? Be sad it's either. never a good time. Like when I'm joyful, I could be smiling, laughing yeah. about my day and stuff. And then I remember, oh wait, I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> nobody likes that feeling. Nobody should no, go through nobody that likes feeling those emotions. Sad. Normally, That's I would just want is. them to make Riley think of the idea, hey, just take an antidepressant to make sadness just disappear. But I know Joy would most likely disappear first, so that ain't an option. So instead, <laughs> sadness, just sit your ass in the corner and we'll call you over when Riley has her first breakup or when she's <laughs> at her grandma's funeral, whatever. But in the meantime, don't bother Riley or anybody else right. in the world. And if I catch you messing up anybody's day, it'll be on sight. <laughs> I'm just gonna go up to the next sad person I see and just... What the <laughs> Jesus, Tyson! Skyler White, Breaking Bad. <laughs> Jesus, I need to watch that show. I need to watch the Tyson uh, cartoon show. I heard from my friends, it's really funny. Never had a chance to watch it, but Jesus. <laughs> Known as one of the greatest TV shows of all time with some of the greatest cast of characters of all Never time. Never watched Breaking Bad also either. Also contains one of the most hated characters ever, oh? Skyler. Walter's wife, I'm hated by Skyler. almost the entire fan base so much, it feels like she's universally hated. And I think she's not bad at all. Hmm? I actually like Skyler. When okay. I finished the series and reflected on the things she went through and her actions, I think almost all of them are justified. At the start of the show, Skyler is left in the dark for so long about what Walter's doing, why he's suddenly gone all day. Mm -hmm. She's worried sick about him thinking he yeah, cheated. Walter's like Come a... to find out he's selling that yeah, good selling stuff. That good From stuff. then on, she's <laughs> generally never happy again. That product, she can't divorce that Walt and only working together with him to keep what's left of this family together. Mm -hmm. Going against her morals just to do what she thinks is best for her children, only for her to all end in disaster. And Walter is the one who put her <laughs> In this situation in the first place she feels trapped yeah there's a few things she's done that's a little cringe you know that birthday song forever be haunting me and yeah she cheated on Walt, <laughs> but that was a little cringe you know that birthday song forever be haunting me and yeah she cheated i gotta watch my friend season two i'm waiting for my friend to get his like he's doing something right now but once he gets that situated we're watching small friends again season two because i need to watch the next like the like the last yeah i, I gotta i gotta watch it i only watched two episodes yeah, did he Walt, but that was only after she found out about his business and wanting the divorce and also the refrigerator scene happened did What's you that? forget that happened i don't know what I that is i'm scared skyler to the dusk of dawn i think she's a great character i'm only bringing her up because she's known as the worst how you gonna hate skyler for just being a nagging wife and praise walter like <laughs> hell yeah let jane die kill that kid what for the of business. <laughs> kill that oh kid. yeah fam. Yeah, yeah, fam. Y'all directing your hate to the wrong person. Because how is she the most hated when Walt Jr. exists? Oh, my God. I hate this nigga. What, what, what so, so what you say is chicken. you're a liar. Oh, my God. He's just selling meth. You acting like he's selling <laughs> crack or robbed a Walmart or something. Oh, that's, that's big time. Release right my nigga. <laughs> Release my nigga. He making a big deal out of nothing. If I found out my dad is in the empire business, I'm going to be like, wait, you sell what <laughs> how much money you make that much and you're not sharing you made me pay <laughs> right, for that's your not what i was saying today and you had this much you greedy bastard <laughs> next Rocky. and last person i want to talk about isn't really a character but he certainly acts like one it's kanye <gasps> why kanye but he made graduation he made college dropout you can't talk about kanye he made he made a late registration what are you doing you can't talk about Kanye. Yeezy. Yeezus. Yay. I forgot their nicknames. Um, that's all I got. Certainly acts like <laughs> one. It's Kanye. <gasps> Why? How could you say that? I know you made a Kanye video go. too in I the past. I you loved Ye. Nigga, you think I want to say this? <laughs> Do you? I'ma just be blunt with this. Vultures 2 is not, not good. good. I only heard versus Vultures. I only heard... Vultures one, there we go. I haven't heard two yet, but I I saw like the people say like two is not like not good at all. I'm like, ooh. Do you? I'ma just be blunt with this. Vultures two is not, not good. good. It is so mid. It's disappointing. It don't even sound like they even trying. I, I mean, like maybe Ty Dollar is. I can't tell. The niggas sound the same in every single song <laughs> he's ever been in. But lyrically. 
Ye is at his weakest. Mm. I don't even feel like praising the few tracks I like because the overall album is just so nothing. And I see new Kanye fans praising the album, saying it's overhated. Like, I'm glad you guys liked it, but I was anything. a Kanye fan when he released Ye and Kid C Ghost within a week of each other. A <laughs> week. And those two albums have some of his best songs to, to this day. Yeah, so to me expecting albums. something of similar quality, and then I got these two albums instead this year. <laughs> you yeah. can try to understand I like, my I didn't like most of one either. And I know Kanye isn't mentally healthy. Probably more now than ever with this nitrous gas he's huffing now. Yeah, I've been looking into that. Like, uh, something about, like, the his dentist, right? Something about his dentist, like, gave him, like, a lot of gas to, like, I don't know, it was like something going on with his dentist. I think alleged dentist doing something crazy with Kanye, like getting him like high on purpose and messed up. I don't know, a lot of stuff going on there, but which yeah. if you ain't he's not, know, he's not the literally right. kills your brain cells and causes permanent brain damage. Mm -hmm. You may ask, why even willingly do something like this? Because it can get you higher than the Empire State while also slowly killing you. And knowing Kanye as creative as he is, is doing this stuff. Yeah, that's, that's hurts. Sad. Yeah hurts bro and there ain't nothing i can do other than hope he got actual helpful friends and family around him and telling y'all to not do that don't do whippets gas none of that just smoke weed like a normal person but not those bootleg 10 gram 20 dollars <laughs> smoke shop carts that'll kill you too or even better don't even don't do, do drugs yeah, you're no. only hurting yourself and the people around you when you're doing hard ones and the stuff yay is on i don't want to mm -hmm. see anyone else doing it i don't care about vultures I got some family members that, well, I think most of us, some of us got some family members that be, like, doing drugs, like, weed, at least. Sometimes, you know, I don't care about weed. Like, I don't I don't smoke myself, but I don't care if you be smoking, whatever. But, like, be responsible when you smoke. Don't, like, just, all you do is just smoke weed every single day. Like, come on now. What are you doing? If you need to get a little higher every now and then, sure, go ahead. Do you. But, like, just consume with the drugs? Come on now. Three. I want stuff Ye is on. I don't want to see anyone else doing it. I don't care about Vultures 3. I want Ye to be healthy and get mental yes. health more than any form of new and future music. But all I can do is hope. And yeah, that no, was Annoying Characters fan. 3. Felt, kind of a downer right to end on, but I had to say something about this. But it would have been a bigger downer to end on my alternative character pick, uh, Debbie from Shameless. But I've had too many I minds you. making this video. <laughs> it's just... If you know, you know. She's terrible. Literally the I'll worst. Like, it. Damn, I hate her. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Those were my characters. Follow whatever links down below. And uh, in conclusion, I'm voting for Kamala Harris because she a bad bitch. Okay. Beat, 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 what? Beat, yeah, I want people to know when to stop wiping. Oh, I, I think they can feel the creep. tears. I think blind people can feel the tears you know, so you can you can still feel tears on your on your face, like. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, good video, good video, Rossi, good video. So like some of those characters, I know nothing about like Star Starlight from The Boys and uh, the, the that girl, oh Walter's wife from The Breaking Bad. I don't know nothing about them, but Deku I know about the uh, Tanya I know about. I forgot the other people that was on this. But, oh yeah, Daniel LaRusso. Oh, Ka oh man, I, I forgot all about Caillou for a second. I, I blocked him from my memory banks. He, he one of the worst. Caillou's one of the worst. I, I can't think of it. Is there even a single good Caillou episode? Like, is there a single episode where Caillou is like, not being the worst person in the world? What is this? Stop the hate? Never. Keep the hate going. Um, <laughs> annoying characters. Sometimes you gotta have some annoying characters in the show so you can have like, ooh, I can't wait to that person get like, beat up or like, something bad happens to that person so you feel good. But sometimes annoying characters can be way too annoying because they can be like one of the main protagonists, like Daniel LaRusso. And you're like, man, will he ever grow up? <laughs> but I think he's doing better in the later seasons. Like season, like when they finally got together, like Daniel and like Lawrence, they finally like, you know, in speaking terms, good buddy terms. He was cool. He was cool to see now. Like, oh yes, finally. You stopped being such a prude. <laughs> Let's go. This was a fun video. I'm glad I got to watch this. Um, I might need to check out his other two annoying characters videos to see what he put on that list um can i think of any annoying characters off the top of my head right now that's on the spot i cannot think of one right now maybe oh yeah sarah from ed and eddie she was always annoying i feel always always picking on ed like leave ed alone ed's best boy you leave ed alone but he was she was more annoying than um what was the guy's name crap oh no my ed and now my ed and eddie knowledge is slipping 
Rolf. Oh, Kevin. He was more annoying than Kevin, which is crazy to me. Yes. No, Sarah was always annoying to me. I, I don't think I ever liked Sarah. <laughs> oh, then you got Angelica from Rugrats, the, not the all grown ups, the, the baby one. She was annoying sometimes. Man, shoot, maybe he already included them. I don't know. But we're going to get out of here now. I am going to be doing some things. I don't know what yet, but I need to do some things to care of some business. Um, and yeah, so hope you done my reaction and thank you for watching. My cup of tea is out of here. Um, sayonara. Man, starting off with Caillou was crazy. I had to control all my being to not start swinging violently. It's funny because I didn't even watch that much of Caillou. I just watched, I know I watched a little bit of Caillou and I know I never liked Caillou. Man, that's really it. Yeah, I never liked him. <laughs> never will. <laughs> never will. <laughs>